Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how I place my decoys in the snow. As you can see, there, there's about six inches of snow on the ground. I mean, I know it sucks, but I found a way by that. What I did was I just took like, you can take shovels, I mean, you can even take a leaf blower and blow away all the snow and just make it so it's flat on the ground. And what I did was I just took my uh, tractor and used the bucket and scraped away all the snow and stuff. But, you know, you want to keep a little bit of snow. You don't want to make it so it's just bare ground because then it makes it look suspicious and it looks like there's tracks in the ground, but, you know, that just makes it look like they're, that's where the geese have been walking and sitting down and stuff. And I've just been having geese pour in here all day, all day and yesterday. Got my limit yesterday in the first 20 minutes of hunting, and I got out late. I got at about, like, 8.30ish or so. And, uh, it's really, really a good setup. I kind of made, like, a little swoosh kind of, you know, where it came up like that. I have about 8 of them, 8 to 10 of them over here. And about 15 of them in this area. Uh, it's a negative, I think, 3 right now. It's crazy. Especially out here in Oregon. We don't get it that cold here. And, uh, yeah. So, if you have decoys, like shell decoys work really good. Because then they're on the ground. They look like they're sleeping. And feeder decoys, you know, you kind of scrape away the ground, you know. And, you know, if there's snow right here, you just want to take your shoe or something and scrape it so you see the grass underneath. And then you can place those feeder decoys right there. And it'll look like they're munching on the grass. And, yeah, just all day today, just pouring in geese. I almost got my limit. And, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. If you haven't ever been goose hunting before, I very much recommend you get into the sport of goose hunting. Lots of lots of fun.